Just left. Yep, day four. four. Yeah, I was trying to think what day it was. <laughs> day four. Day four. And uh, I'm introducing Liam's video today. We got six stages coming oh, right up. Man. We're on the west side, which supposedly is west is best. And I don't believe anyone, they said, some people said it was going to be dry, some people said it's going to be wet, and honestly, we've been getting mixed information oh, all shite, the time. Shite information. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that's how a pro does it. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Enjoy. Enjoy. Stage four, day one, and this is stage number 20 overall. So the arms and body are pretty tired. The marshals at the top of the stages have generally each day been trying to trick us about what's coming up on the stages. There's one marshal who likes to tell us the truth, <laughs> but the rest of them will tell you it's through the forest, slippy routes, wet, when it's gonna be open and dry. So we've stopped asking the marshals, which is what me and Dan were talking about there at the start and yeah just see it see it as it comes apart from the one trusty marshal who always provides exceptional information so on day three i managed to cut about 10 seconds out of dan's lead uh so the plan for today was to try and really do a good job pedal hard ride the <laughs> ride the tracks good and hopefully cut into the lead a little bit more we also knew that uh, Teo, who was in fourth at this point, was going to be really fast on these stages because they're a little bit like what he rides at home in South Africa, <clears throat> quite fast, and he's also really good at downhill. So uh, them not being nagery and slippery was going to be good for him. So needed to do a good job to be in with a shot of being faster than him as well. So a bit of competition is always good to spur you on and it makes it more enjoyable. I absolutely love the landscape here. Just like beautiful green mountains. You can see all the way down to the sea. No trees, just nice brackeny hillsides. A little bit, tiny bit like home in places, um, but so, so, so nice. That was magic. That was nice and fast at the top, those bottom corners could have opened up as well. Ah, the bottom corners were a bit tricky, but the top bit was well. Yeah. It's nice to go a bit faster. Yeah. <laughs> We've been going so slow all week everywhere. Yeah. Everyone's cooked. It's not one for... There must be quite a few turns there because they haven't appeared yet. It's very nice up here. <clears throat> Thank you. Did they do? The water. The grip on these tracks was pretty good, but there was the odd little hard, baked hard set, like, like clay type patches of dirt, especially if you went into some trees or into like a bit more shrubbery. So you had to have your wits about you because although you could mostly push on, um, yeah, there was these slippery little patches and then obviously some of the turns were totally blown out as well Especially lower down on this track. The, the bottom of this track was absolutely amazing Bit steeper the turns were kind of 
I had a bit more support, but quite a few of them were blown out, so it was, it was quite exciting. I carried sunglasses in my bag all week long and this was the first day that it was proper. Like, uh, they were useful on the other days, but on this day, oh, I was pleased to have them because it was just out in the baking sun, not in the forest, just in the sun all day long. Thank <laughs> you. 
compared to how long that was. All good? It's very long. Yeah. yeah. By the end, I was a bit of a passenger. Yeah, I was a passenger for quite a while. Uh, didn't expect that to be so long, but it was really good. So, kind of a shame the bottom, bottom half of that was amazing, but arms, the whole body's just so cooked, you can hardly, you can hardly hold on. Just like a passenger. But, really cool track. And I think we're lucky with the weather because it normally rains in this part of the island, as you can see with all the bracken. It's very northwest Scotland, plus dust, so quite nice. If there's one thing I'm most happy about, is that I've brought sunglasses. So bright, and we're going to be out in the sun for like 10 hours, so very happy about that. Having the time of your life there too? Loving it. <laughs> Even more. <laughs> Can you imagine one four more balls just fucking you in the ass? <laughs> Better than a Quite ten mil ball. Just my whole next fucking, well actually at least this climb is kind of done. Yeah. Next one's going to be heinous in the anus. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Onto stage three for the day, and the climb from stage two to the top of this was pretty substantial. Just out in the sun, pushing our bikes mostly because it was exceedingly steep, but a bit of pedaling as well, just sun baking down on the head, and it took an exceedingly long time, multiple hours, if I remember correctly. So everyone was feeling uh, quite tired, bit bit dehydrated, but there was lots of good chat and joke and bad storytelling going on on the climbs to keep everyone going plus the knowledge that we were going to ride another beautiful track. I also had a special little trick up my sleeve this week, not really a trick but I don't usually consume any caffeine at all and with not sleeping that well uh, in the tents and the big old days I was tanning the caffeine which I think was keeping me alert, keeping the spirits high and I didn't even shit my pants so result all round.
There's a shop for water down here. But if you want to have <coughs> oh, is that is that okay? Is that okay? Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Take care. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Maybe yeah. You want water? She's asking if you want water. Yeah. No, this is the marshal who tells us the yeah. truth about what go, the stages go, 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 go. are like, so we like to get the info from him. All the other marshals just tell you lies. <laughs> <laughs> Myself in your skin. <laughs> so I want you to have a good information about the trail. Thank you. It's much peace. Right, well, thank you. A lot of people are nice... asking for water, but I, yeah. I cannot. Yeah. Right, thank you. Enjoy. Have a good day. Good luck. Go for it. So that marshal, he's the boy I was telling you about, he likes to likes to give us the good info so he told me that this one's quite off camber, a bit of pedal and out of tight corners and it's a little bit blinder, harder to see around the corners because of the grass. So kind of useful information to have uh, but at the end of the day you obviously just have to ride it blind. But it is nice to know when it's, if it's going to be slimy roots and rocks everywhere or, or just sort of normal corners. It's also very useful to know how long it is. So he's told us this one's reasonably short because there's nothing worse than thinking you're on a short track and then it dragging on and on and on, or vice versa. So that's uh, that's also the key useful info to have. that one as well. Hi. Hi. 100 meters from left. Ah, thank you. <laughs> that one was really hard. Very slippery. Very off camber, very slippery, very blind. Couldn't really see what was coming. Looking forward to some food and water. This is just a trail to food, but I've rolled in and it looks magic, so I'm gonna film it. 
Ah, no, no pressure. Found the food station and there it is there. Hell of a vista. I like. Drop off point. Up we go. This mist is bringing me extreme happiness. Glorious mist. Thank you. <clears throat> Have fun. Cheers. Stage five. It's been a long, long day at this point. Um, we set off at 8.30 in the morning and this is getting on to late, late afternoon now. So body's, body's tired, feeling it a little bit, but this was, this was probably one of the tracks that I found the very hardest in the whole week. Just a lot of rocks. And as soon as I set off, I punged my tires a few times, which you probably can hear. And then I just thought, oh, I don't, I really don't want to get a puncture. So it was hard to, it's kind of hard to push on in this one. It was quite blind in places as well. And it also had the little greasy patches. You can just see it when you go into the deep, the deep woods there. There's the odd just patch of like slimy grease where it's not grippy. So this track I found really hard. And I know at the end, <clears throat> speaking to everyone else at the end, quite a few others found it hard as well. And we're also worried about puncturing or damaging wheels, which is so easy to do when you're riding blind and you're just going off, off, off a blind rise and you don't know what's on the other side. It's so easy to just sm smash your back wheel off a big rock and either puncture or damage your wheel. So I had that really in my mind and then that makes you be a little bit defensive and then maybe makes the arm pump and things worse. But it was actually, it was actually a really good track. Again, it just would have been one that would have been really cool to know because then you could, then you could hit it properly, commit to, commit to where you're going and not be worried about stoving your bike off a rock. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
right there. Excuse me. Yes, on your left. Last one was not my favourite. Basically just didn't want to get a puncture because it was pretty bad for the wheels and tyres so succeeded with that but I'll have lost some time and I'm absolutely fine with that. Hopefully there's no more like that. <laughs> We're going up this big old road now to the next one. <laughs> Quite a big shift to get here but we made it to the last one of the day. <laughs> After a pretty lengthy transfer from the previous one, up a big long road and then up a big single track and then along some forest road traversing, made it finally to the last stage of the day. And I remember this one being pretty good, but also really hard to kind of read. Difficult to see which bit of the track you needed to be on, whether you should be setting up a little bit on the left for turns. Um, it was quite wide. Uh, the actual overall track was quite wide, but the sort of patch that people have been riding was reasonably narrow. And it sometimes looked like it maybe was gonna go left rather than right or right rather than left. And it sometimes looked like maybe you wanted to be on the inside when you wanted to be on the outside. So I think I remember find that tricky on this track it's a little bit faster than some of the other ones were possibly as well uh, and then it's got the tall gorse bushes as well as the bracken so it's kind of got bracken blocking your vision down low gorse bushes blocking your vision in the middle and then it's got quite a few trees that you sort of are going to turn around I guess so that made it difficult to read difficult to see around but the dirt at least was fairly consistent there wasn't those greasy patches like there was in the previous one but there was a few routes further down so pretty good track to end the day oh, Fuck! 
shit. Contact lenses causing me all sorts of trouble. Not done the best job of the last two today. That one mainly because my contact lenses causing me trouble, but I did do a good job of the first four. So this afternoon's been slightly unusual because I've not been riding with the with any of the boys. Just work my way across to Slovada, and I've been getting clips by my little chatty clips by myself but I've generally been riding with a group and then today they stopped for a while after one of the stages when it was really sunny and I just wanted to keep going so I ended up on a different uplift bus after lunch and it's definitely nice having having some comedians around <laughs> uh, so I'll try and stay in the group tomorrow I think Jesus, I oh, fuck, almost, almost just put my wheel off the edge there. Ah, off down for snacks and showers and relaxing. <laughs>